Hello and welcome to Space Engineers. Today we're going to look at uh, five of the top mods that are in um, Steam Workshop this week. Uh, this isn't necessarily in any order. It's also not necessarily the best, it's just five that I like to look at and they've got lots of stars. So I thought I'd make a nice little video for you all, so enjoy. This is the Desert Eagle. Um, the Cropper Works by Entersprite. Um, this is big. <laughs> I love the look of it. It just looks like... Almost like... A stealth... Thing, if you know what I mean. Like, the way it's angled. Um, I just think it's a very cool looking mod. Um, and we're going to be lazy again and get in the old fashioned way. Um, put that in correctly would help. Um, so what we've got once we get inside is there's not too much inside. I just walk around. Um, however, it's quite na even though there's not too much to there's not too much room. Um, I still think there's still lots to sort of if you know what I mean. It's yeah. Um, <laughs> There's no gravity down here for some reason. Um, so let's keep that on. And yeah. Um, so yes, yeah, the Desert Eagle one. It's um, we've got gravity again. Yeah, we've got gravity. And that's the way in, by the way. You fly through the big thing in the front. Get in. It's got a medical room. What more could you want? Nice little driver's seat. And have we got guns? We do have guns. Let's put them in. Has he loaded them? So yeah, another one. Um, it's quite a nice looking ship. Um, good starting block. <laughs> it's just a at that point, isn't it? Um, yeah, that's a Desert Eagle one. Up next is... Algol by Warpax. This is epic. Look at the size of that. Um, it'll take off now just to fly around it. Um, yeah, what a lovely looking ship it is. Plenty of things to explore inside of it. Uh, plenty of ways in. It's got like little shuttle bays everywhere. Um, plenty of guns. Plenty of engines. It actually handles alright and goes not as slow as what you'd think it would go actually. Um, I say there's no one. He's put lots of like, nice lighting in. Lots of windows to look at. Um, elevators to go, well, you know, to fly up and around in because we haven't got the elevators working on here yet. Um, I just don't know what else to say. It's just an epic looking thing. Um, let's land nicely and carefully inside of it. So I'll show you a little bit inside. Um, that's one of the places where you can fly it from. Um, the only thing that's a bit boring about this one is the inside isn't quite as polished as I would expect however I think if there was much inside the frame rate would just would die um, I don't I presume that's why that works on much on the inside um, so there's actually too much to see or do in here um, but what he has done I mean just look at it it's almost like a work of art isn't it with his lights and so forth um, and it's all quite easy to get around you're not going to get too lost when you're walking around and we've got conveyors we've got you've got everything you need really um don't know why you'd want to fly in through there but you can so yeah that is um algol um it's quite a nice little sh it's quite a nice little ship is the wrong word it's a huge huge ship um it looks pretty epic and with the amount of guns and missiles are on it. You wouldn't mess with it either. Um, so yeah, that is Algol by Wallpax. This is the Morphologist Heavy Transport. This is by uh, Morphologist um, and Braggett Blue Capital Y. Uh, this is his ship. Uh, this is the transport vessel here. Um, as you can see, it's not a bad looking ship. It's quite nice looking. It's got some cool little features where you can open troop bay doors and stuff from the ship's control panel 
Uh, there's not too much to see inside. If I just hover over here, you'll be able to see. Basically, it's just a big room um, with the drive scopes and stuff in the back. The cockpits are located at the front here. Um, so if we just go in from there, and as you can see, it has guns, it has missiles, and there's your door so you can open them up. And we can turn them on, we can change the drop bay light, we can turn them on, uh, turret rotors, we've got them, we've got troop doors, so we can reverse open them if you want. Um, yeah, that's how everything's done. So it's a nice little mod, it's a good game. Um, and this one's a nice addition to it. So yeah, that was uh, the Morphologist Heavy Transport. Next up is the Yogscast Space Labs. Uh, this is by the guys Yogscast who usually do the Minecraft stuff and lots of other stuff. Um, this one's quite a good one because well, it's fully complete. It's got lots of materials. It's also got the biggest grinder in the world, which is amazing. Uh, grinders, basically, if you don't know, grind things up and give you the materials. Um, it's quite a nice little map. It's got lots of little derelict space things knocking around. It's also got this big ship here. It's unbelievable, but it does kill you. Um, and my favourite invention in the world, warheads. Uh, so let's have a little look around. Um, it's quite. It's got this little hangar bay here with a few ships in, uh, a few storage units, an inside gun, unfinished mech. Um, looks quite nice in there. We've got. That is nothing, that doesn't require anything. Uh, these are walk, this is a nice little walkway which leads you onto the mech pad. We've got these two pilotable mechs here. We've got a solar ship there, um, as in the grinder here, and this ship here, which is just epic. Um, which, it'll probably shoot me, I'm guessing. Yep, there we go. Um, and this ship here, which on its own is looks really good, and also it's a nice little addition to. If you want to have a little space battle, it's got lots of weapons on it. I'm getting pushed away like mad. Um, and yeah, this is the Yogs Lab Space Labs one. Not too much at the moment. I'm sure it'll expand. Um, however, it's a nice little start on block for anyone who's willing to start off. And with this big ship, what more could you want? It's also got a very cool little ship inside if I can get to it. Come oh, on, leave me to it. There. There. Am I going to be able to get I'll get too much shot? No, we're never going to get to it. Um, so it's also got a very nice little ship in there anyway. Um, yeah, check it out. And next is one of my favourite ships I've ever seen. Um, and also incorporating some of the best things inside of it. And it's just brilliant. Just wait until I show you. It is um, the, to give it its proper name, the Military Research Ship Atropos by Evans Baxter 52. Um, look at that. Isn't that just amazing? Um, yeah, I'm not sure why it's called a research ship, uh, because it just looks evil. It's more of a war machine. Um, he's built you these cool little drones here, um, which can go around, double cockpitted. Um, we've got AI over there. We've also got these in here, which are two drop ships. Um, so as you can see, they've got a gap in the middle. Uh, for you to sit in. Demonstrate here. So we've got these two little cool drop ships here. We've also got another ship in here. It is quite hard to find your way around, which I'll demonstrate in a second. Um, over here we have these war hoggy things, um, which just look brilliant. Um, so yeah, you can pile all them onto there, and each one comes specified doing something different. So we've got uh, drills on that one. Guns, 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 and I believe these are pilotable. So these are pilotable guns as well, which is just fantastic. Um, so like a warthog, you can take two years on. Uh, one can drive, one can do that. So they're very good. Um, I've enjoyed using this. I mean, look at how many missiles are on this one. Wow. That's such some hole in that ship. Boom! Um, Whoa, okay. Small issue. Um, <laughs> a little drivable as well. Um, yeah, and this is the main ship here. Um, as I said, there's another ship there. You do get a bit lost if you go inside. Um, see how big of a gouge that put into it? However, it's very well constructed. I love what it looks like inside. If I take you back in. Yeah. Um, he's done the little walkways quite nicely along. Um, 
and inside it looks pretty awesome as well. So if we drop uh, there. Also, gravity's not on the lower levels as well, which I quite like, so we've got all our refineries here. Um, no ship hiding just it here at the front. Uh, there's also grinders. Um, but the way he's done it, it just it does feel like what you'd want your ship to look like. It's not too neat, well, like, because you would expect them to just place things everywhere like that. Um, and the cockpit's a really nice area as well. But what I'm going to do is, because I can never find my way there, I'm just going to grind my way in. Um, so if I put the grinder in. And that's like, the, it looks like there's an instrument display up there, and it's a little captain's chair. Um, it's got loads of little things around. Nice little entrance way, ways out to your side as well. Uh, guns protecting it as well. And just, what a good one it is. It's a nice one. Um, it's a really nice ship, this one. Uh, get it downloaded, I would highly recommend it. And once the game expands, this could come in quite useful. And that was, um, yeah, that was the military research ship. I would say more destroyer. Um, yeah, that's a good one. And they were my top mods of the week. Um, I'm hoping this to make this a weekly show, uh, depending on how many mods come out. We'll see. Um, my favourite out of that lot were probably the Space Labs or the Military Research Vessel, because that's just brilliant. Um, if you check his workshop page out, he shows them on different planets and you can be driving around in the little war toggy things and you've got little drop ships there to drop people off in and yeah that's pretty cool um there's more though there's so many pages of um workspace mods and just, you know just play around check them out quite easy to install and easy to use as well and a lot of fun and i hope you join me again and i'll see you all later goodbye